Hey guys, DJ here again. Doing the old uh, grenadier, as it were. Now, the next part we're going to do is we're going to work our way through the rest of this grenade launcher. Now you notice, by the way, I've left the ejection port, the place where the shells come out of, the, uh, the spent cartridges come out of. I've left that black, and I need to have that black for later on, and you'll see why. So what we're going to do, I haven't actually done this before on this kind of model for this type of color. But I like this gray that's on here. I want it to be a little bit darker, though. I need it to be a little bit more sort of messed up and metal-y color. I mean, these, these sort of weapons would get dirty all the time, so I really want to try and emulate that as best I can on this model. Now, you can do what I'm about to do with most of the colors in the color spectrum. You can get your color that you want to lighten or darken and use either black or white to do each of uh, each of those two specific tasks. And so what I'm going to do here is just grab a bunch of this white or this white this uh, gray that we've been using. Get a couple of brush loads of it. Give that a quick little rinse and then I'm going to take it's a real little bit of this black to try and darken it up a little bit. And then I'm going to drop a couple drops of water in it. I'm going to use the back of my brush too. You should always use the back of your brush when you're trying to mix up paint. I'm just going to darken that up. And that came out pretty good. Now, see, have a look at this. Here's the two colors side by side. This side is a little bit darker, just slightly darker than this side. And that's really what we're after. That's what I want to get for this model. So, I got that loaded up now. And kind of like the, the opposite of highlighting. I'm gonna just gonna kind of poke around certain spots, not really specific places, just kind of random spots on the weapon to really darken it up in certain areas. Do the magazine, because the magazine I feel would get pretty messed up after a while. magazine well as well because it's pretty much right there next to the magazine so I feel those two places specifically would get lots of scratches and dings on them and they would look kind of messed up and then drop a bit on this rim here I'm gonna go over this with the same gray that's already on there in a second so you don't have to worry about you know not making your lines straight or anything this sort of drum is what I'm gonna after gonna get after because there is a little a kind of a a drum sort of cylinder that makes up the majority of this weapon I touch that real lightly all around This is also to give a bit of variety in this weapon because it's mostly going to be darker grays and I want it to look a little bit more like it's got some variety. It looks, you know, make it look a little bit more interesting. So that's all we're really trying to achieve here. And it, I already like how it's coming out much better, to be honest. I like this gray for specific stuff, though. I don't like it for everything. I like it to get certain effects out of things, to get real, real specific effects out of things. This, not so much, because it's a, a more of a... I want to say sort of used, like that's what I was right. I was trying to say it's the entire reason of doing this. It needs to look more used. It doesn't need to look streamlined. It needs to look like it's actually been messed with and played with and actually fired a lot. So that's down on there now, and that came out really nicely. I like how much different it looks already. Now I'm gonna do is make up just a little bit more of it because I want to do this back barrel thing here too.
I'm going to lay the colors next to each other either. You don't want to dip one color straight into another color. No, you can't see any of that either. Drop that there. So you can see I put kind of next to each other. You don't want to set them on top of each other because you're going to inherently by accident sort of combine them and you might not get the right mixture. As you can see I grab a little bit at a time. I don't you know put the entire thing in there. So that's that's I can I can actually sort of uh, adjust the color as I'm mixing it together. So I'm gonna do this kind of compressor looking deal back here. A little bit more water. Just a little touch here and there. And this thing that we discovered is kind of like a piston. Hit that as well. So you can see I'm leaving very little that gray color that was already there. Because I want it to darken up. I want this entire weapon to darken up a good amount. I'm using it mostly everywhere. Or for the most part, I'm using it everywhere is what I should have said. And there we are. Back part I can still get without messing anything up, I hope. Yep, there we go. Okay. So that's gone down out now. That's gone down on there now. That's what I should say. That looks a lot better. I already like how that looks immensely. Okay. So now, what we're going to do, since we're pretty much on the same topic, we're going to do a bit of highlighting with our blue. This is kind of the same concept of what we just did, except for we're going to use it to make uh, certain areas brighter instead of darker. And that's just achieved by basically the different colors you're using. Maybe a cap here from a water bottle, what I've got sitting. So like I said before, gone over this a couple times, Facebook color and highlight color. So these go one to one. I just did a one to one with the black and the gray. So it's just about the same thing. I'm going to use a different brush to do this because I need a little bit more than what I had uh, for the gray and the black. Because I'm going to be doing a little bit more surface area. So I'll just grab a bunch of this. That's about two brushfuls. Rinse that off before I go in the other type of blue. So I've got one of this. And then two of this. Okay. Now we're going to grab a nice bit of water. Put it in the center. And then if you find there's a bit more to cover and put it on the sides there and then mix this stuff together and that's going to make a slightly lighter color than the base coat color and that's what we're trying to get and there we go you can see just a little bit brighter than the base coat color but not quite as bright as that color and that's exactly what we're trying to achieve now this I'm not going to go real heavy with it because like I said, I've said this a couple times during the series, I think this model, in my personal opinion, would be a darker looking machine. It wouldn't be as bright as some of the other stuff in Signar's uh, arsenal. So what I'm going to do, put a bunch on a brush, and starting with this left arm, this right arm technically, hit the hand, the hand would get Oh, they're just you're touching on the the higher points of the model. So just touching the knuckles because the knuckles are slightly raised instead of hitting the bridge of the hands or the bridge of the fingers. I mean, I think they call the bridge of the fingers. Hit the knuckles because the light is gonna touch. Like I said, this is we're hitting everything that's a higher surface. the inside of this hand 
back side of this uh, this gauntlet. And we're gonna hit all these little all these smaller rivet looking deals because these aren't actually a silver color they're painted over the blue color like the blue base color that the model actually is and then hit all these edges on the forearm on the elbow got a bolt there too that I need to get at touch around these bolts and then hitting just the rim the very edge of this this uh, shoulder pad just that sharp rim there and you see it's got a slight variation in color touch all these uh, bullet point looking deals I know they're not bullet like impacts but I they look sort of like what I like to call bullet points like when you're doing a word document they look like just random little nubs so hit all those and you can see if I side by side it I go like this that one side is slightly lighter and I only want it to be slightly sometimes I would go you know a 2 1 ratio on this mix I'm highlighting but I like I said I keep saying it over and over again I think this is a darker model by default so I want it to really emulate that this edge and don't worry about if you get uh, this highlight somewhere you don't want it because I of course just did <laughs> you can go back with your base coat and it's super easy to touch this sort of stuff up hit the top of this head there's a lot of lights gonna hit the head and then doing the inside of this sort of groin plate the tops of all these knees and legs and then we're gonna do all the edges on these feet and these legs and this entire effect is pretty subtle at first like right now it doesn't look too sharp but when it all dries down trust me you're gonna be able to tell the color differential uh, or difference excuse me differential but it'll look it'll give the the entire model because you're gonna do this essentially everywhere in one form or another it's gonna be on just about every part of the model it's gonna give just a slight color variation that's gonna show you where the light is touching and it's gonna make it seem more extravagant and detailed and I mean all I'm doing and you can see me is touching every sharp edge of the model with this color. Oops, I got some on that blue and or that gray there. I got some on this bolt and I'm just gonna wet the brush real fast and get it. Because I don't want a blue bolt. There we go. Just like that. Put a real it's gonna be a little bit difficult. The real faint edge on this blue just like that there and then make a small sort of deeper cut in there and when you put on your final uh, your uh, your gloss coat of sealer this is gonna get knocked back too so if it looks like it's going on even bright don't worry too much about it because when you seal it up it's gonna go on or it's gonna get knocked back a little bit and you're probably wondering why I haven't done that giant eagle right there in the middle quite honestly I have no white and I have to go down to the local Walmart to get some white but that's on the agenda for today because I don't have to work today which is nice but also not nice that's why I'm sitting here I'm painting there's nothing better to do so now 
That's about it for the highlighting. Got a couple of nubs back here that I want to touch. And that'll do it. There we go. And I got some silver here that I can touch up with this blue color. Because this knee pad isn't as visible as the other. And there we go. Highlight it up with the blue. We're right at 1540-ish, so I'm going to cut this bad boy right here. And when we come back, we're going to do the rest of this weapon arm, and that looks great already. I hope you can see that. Get that to focus, you son of a bitch. Okay, there you go. And that looks great. Looks much better. So we're going to get to this in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. This has been the highlighting for the arm. Actually, it's been all the highlighting with the blue for sure, and then it's been weapon changing a little bit. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time. BT, cheers.